bismillahir rahmanir rahim uh, in this session we will discuss the inverse of logarithmic and exponential functions uh, that is exercise 6.11 uh, for uh, from additional mathematics course for igcse and o level students uh, here we have uh, question number 1 where we have some exponential functions and we have to find the inverse of that exponential functions in question uh, part uh, question number 2 we have some uh, natural log function and we have to find the inverse similarly for the question so let's start uh, uh, 6.11 that is inverse of logarithm and exponential functions so uh, the first questions is uh, the first part first uh, a Uh, we have given the function e power x plus 4 we, and we have to find the inverse of this exponential function so let y is equal to e power x and then interchange this x and y then this becomes x and this becomes y so let's x minus 4 we rearrange it and x minus 4 is equal to this so take log on both side so ln x minus 4 is equal to y and y is equal to ln x minus 4 and if x is greater than for uh, then ln is allowed because uh, a negative value is uh, not uh, allowed so for x greater than 4 this is y is basically the inverse of this exponential function so this is uh, our required inverse function similarly for others and uh, let's see question part f where we have uh, fx is equal to 4 e power minus 3x plus 5, and let uh, y is equal to this function, and uh, rearrange these values, inter replace x with y, interchange the variables, so this y and it becomes x, and now rearrange it, and then um, 5 will be here, and 4 divide by 4, and then e power 3 minus y. So by rearranging it. e power minus 3y is equal to this taking log on both side then this becomes this. so this is minus 1 upon 3 log plus y so this is inverse function let's uh, solve this uh, h uh, where we have fx is equal to this let y is equal to 5 minus 2 e power 2x and now interchange variable this becomes y and this is x now rearrange and uh, manipulations uh, this becomes here shift it to the right and Uh, to the uh, uh, to the left and this is to the right so this by rearranging uh, then this uh, becomes e to power 2y is equal to 5 minus x divided by 2 and now we can take uh, ln on both side then this become reciprocal so and this comes ln so y is equal to this so for x uh, is uh, less than 5 this function is uh, positive ln value will be positive so so this is inverse uh, this is question uh, let's solve question number uh, uh, 2 e part where we have given fx is equal to 3 ln 2x minus 5 and x is greater than 5 by 2 for positive uh, value of ln so y is equal to this let's y is equal to now interchange variable so this becomes y and this is x now this is x divided by 3 equal to ln 2 by take exponential on both side this becomes e power 3x x upon 3 and this is 2y minus 5 now this is uh, 2y is equal to this and now divide by 2 then this becomes this. so this is uh, the inverse function similarly for Uh, let's question number three, where we have f x equal to this plus one. So we have to see that. For let's see question number three again. We have f x given for this. State the range. Find f inverse and state the domain of f inverse. the range of this would be the domain of f inverse the range of fx would be the domain of f inverse x 5 uh, find f inverse f so we have to find this value so let's start question number 3 so 
so this is the range of fx is uh, for less than zero fx is uh, greater than one for less than zero so because uh, for uh, minus infinity this would be one so so for minus infinity this would be one for for greater than that it, it would be uh, more than zero for minus infinity it would be zero for uh, before that it will be some value so one point something so it will be greater than one for uh, x is equal to zero this becomes one so one plus one is equal to two so x equal to zero so for x greater than zero this would always be greater than one so so the range of this is always greater than 1 from 1 to infinity so the second part is we have to find the inverse so let's y is equal to this file value and now interchange the replace interchange variables so this becomes x and y and now readjustment e power 2 y is equal to x minus 1 take log on both sides and 2 y is equal to ln x minus 1 and then y is equal to this so this is y is basically the f inverse now the domain of x inverse is the range of this fx the range of this is the domain of f inverse x so this domain of inverse is this so now this we have to find this f inverse fx so this is uh, basically f x is equal to this one and taking f inverse on both sides on this side and this side on taking this f side and we have obtained this this and this so we will write here in place of f x we will write fx that is e power 2x plus 1 so we will write in place of this e power 2x uh, plus uh, 1 so here at this place we will write this so at this place we have this e power 2x so e power 2x so when we take e power 2x this is fx fx is equal to e power 2x plus 1 so if we take this then 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 we get x value so this is simple now fx uh, this is fourth and uh, let's solve question number six uh, fx is equal to e power 2x so and gx is equal to ln 2x plus 1 and we have to find fgx value so fgx so in place of uh, this x we will place this gx if we have to find fgx means x in place of x we will write this gx so in place of gx is ln 2x plus 1 so in place of x we will write ln 2x plus 1 so this 2 power will be here and this ln will be reciprocal so this is 2x square plus 1 so fgx is equal to 2x plus 1 now solve fx is equal to f uh, 8 g inverse x so we have to find the g inverse so for g inverse uh, let's y is equal to this one so y is equal to x uh -huh. so take exponential on both sides then this uh, first take this and then interchange the variables so this becomes y this becomes x taking exponential on both sides then e x power is equal to taking e power ln will cancel reciprocal because 2 x plus 1 so this is 2 y so this 2 y so ln will cancel and e power x so by rearranging e x minus 1 2 y is equal to this y is equal to half e x minus 1 now this is g inverse so we have obtained g inverse in place of g inverse we will multiply with 8 so this multiply by 8 so, so it becomes 4 e power x minus 1 and uh, fx is e power 2x so in place of fx we will write e power 2x so now we will equate this this is e power 2x this is 4 e power x minus 4 now we have shifted on that side so e power 2x minus 4 e power x plus 4 is equal to 0 now let's e power x assume as the u so this is u so this is u square so u square minus 4 u plus 4 so this is equal to 0 so this is u minus 2 whole square so u 
is equal to 2 in place of u we will write e power x so e power x so x we take ln on both sides then this becomes x so x is equal to ln2 so this is the solution so and the next session we will uh, solve exercise 6